Welcome back, everyone, to Absolute Power, right here on Casters and Castles, brought to you by Daiskami Publishing Company. I'm Tormented by Gnomes, joined after the break by Leg Day, Lemon Kiwi, Ninja Man, Matt, and Pods of War. When last we left our heroes, they're in the most deadly and dangerous battle room of all, the boardroom. <laughs> Going over a surprisingly generous contract offered to them by the Five Shields Consortium, sponsors of the Five Shields Superhero Group, the very same ones who they saw kill a man, probably on accident, only the night before. Their corporate contact, Probably. Nancy Bloom, has left the conference area and claims to know nothing about Abby's mods NFTs that were stolen from a secure safe earlier this morning or late last night, not sure which, leaving our heroes to deliberate amongst themselves. As you do so, Sadie, your phone, is it on silent? Is it on vibrate? That's you, Lemon Kiwi. Oh, me? Oh, yeah, sorry. No, worries. no I it's fine. I heard Abby, so no, I was No, we've sorry, only played yeah. these characters like, yeah, no, Sadie, your phone on, is On it... vibrate. Okay. On vibrate. Okay, answer. What is it? It's from your ex. Ugh, Unless you got okay. him blocked. No. What is okay. he? What does it say? Why did you hurt me? Mm. <laughs> He's never acted like this before. He's, he was always very, like, whatever. I dumped her. Exactly. Hey, what time of the day is it right now? It's like 11.15 a.m. Text him back, like, are you drunk? It's like 11 a.m. <laughs> I was just looking for a place to crash. Why did you hurt me? Just stop, just stop saying it's like puts the phone in the pocket and goes back. <laughs> God damn it. Ignore this. <laughs> For a little while. You may continue to talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> was this a anyway. phone call or a text? It was a text. Okay. <laughs> Be signing this shit. I got. I gotta get out of here. The vibes are off. Is everything okay? Say it. Oh, dude. You ever have your ex text you? Gross. Am I right? Yeah. So uh, can we sign this bitch? I. I I'm yeah, down for a so bonus. Does this come with a bonus? Oh, signing bonus. That's that's good idea. Um, we can ask about that. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think um like asking for double is mm -hmm. that too much? I don't know much about contract negotiation. Well, so the idea is um, maybe if we ask for too much and then they say it's too much and then they come down a little bit. But if we ask for too little and they accept right away, then then, you know, that means that you ask for too little. You guys don't care. Do you? Opens text again. <laughs> what does it say now? <laughs> you have a lot of texts. Uh, uh Boria cares in so much that he starts listing off uh, all of the different companies that uh, the big brand uh, candy companies have been hostile takeovering over the course of the last. He just like literally opened up like Wiki and is like, this company was purchased for this much. This company was purchased for that much. And he is putting together a small little, this is what it seems like how much those companies are worth. This is how much they were bought out for. So ergo, whatever our value is and I'm not sure how we can figure that out, but he puts together a, this is how much we should be asking for kind of a thing. Yeah, what, uh, the, what the little guy said. Yeah, Abby, uh, I trust you for collective negotiating. We're not going up with less than this, and honestly, I'd be pretty happy. Okay, what if they the say side. that you um can't kill anybody ever again? I should probably do that anyway. If I don't need to kill anybody to get money, that's even better. Hmm. I don't yeah. love killing. Okay. And just one last time, we're all okay with keeping everything that happened last night under wraps for forever. I'm so sorry. Sadie, can you mute that thing? It is kind of drowning out everything right now. <laughs> Looks at, it's just my ex. He's just like, I think he's drunk right now and... The one I helped you with. Right. The handsome cuckold. <laughs> oh, oh, 
old yes. comment. <laughs> <laughs> he is a very pretty one. He just he just wants some closure about our our parting right now, and I'm trying to get out of here and get lunch. So are, are we down to sign? You see lunch? No. No. Oh. Is the American lunch? Boo boo. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm surprised, Sadie. Like, we could, um, you know, we could make sure that your room is close to the American. I mean, are we on the same campus? Is oh, we don't need to be creepy like that. If he's not interested in meeting me, then I'm not that interested either. Hmm. So, okay, it has to be a mutual thing. You don't want to like mastermind this whole thing. Nah. If he if he won't even come to see me, he ain't shit. Yeah, respectable. But we'll take his money, so where do I sign? <laughs> Starts looking I'm for this. Start going to look through. for Nancy. Abby, ask she, for more money, and then we sign. She's like right around the corner, so she pops back in the moment that you're looking for. We are ready to sign papers. We want more money and uh, <clears throat> some sort of severance uh, agreement, separating the NDA from our association with you. That can be arranged. It'll take a little bit of time to get it all drafted up. Um, with, with legal, but when that's done, I am happy to send the amended contract with those no modifications. Uh, as for, you said you wanted more money. Um, I, I think at this point, this is a fairly generous offer. What did you have in mind? We had in mind not telling everyone you killed somebody. <laughs> also, our partnership will be very lucrative. You can see by our numbers and our persuasion for... Uh, we we try not to kill people, just like you're trying to kill people. We will be working very well together. We have big, strong people. You have big, strong people. Uh, we will tutelage, and you will teach, and we will live here, and you will keep us safe from lab coats. This is what we are planning. We, I think we could we, do with um, a 50% increase. Mm -hmm. we, we think that when it comes to the personnel, the uh, acquisition price is fair, but this would force us to cease our own uh, individual branding operation, so the price of the brand should be included. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll have to run that by finance. You can make it conditional upon, like, our our, our, our training period. Uh, what? How you call those? It begins with P. Probation. Probation that period. One. Yeah, you give us probation, you know, if it's Why don't I negotiate for 25% increase? with uh, contingent increases up to the number that you asked for within a based on one year evaluation. I take us okay. to 10,000 a, uh, mm -hmm. a month. Mm -hmm. I find this acceptable. Great. I'll have all the paperwork drafted up and we can send it to you. Um, if you'd like to stick around, I can see if, if uh, Brad and the others are available. We're still running that past their publicists at the moment. Um, but we are working on seeing if we can arrange that for you. And if it doesn't work out today, if you want to go back to your places, you're welcome to stay here while we draft up the new agreement, or we can have it uh, hand delivered to you via courier. What would work better for you? Ooh, I like the sound of courier. That is a very good word. What do the texts say at this point? At a I've, been typing, I've been typing them in Roll20 chat. <laughs> oh, really? I did not have that window open. Oh, I've been that's, watching that's that fine. The whole You've time. been ignoring them, so it's actually... <laughs> <laughs> I'll read them out in case anyone's listening. Oh Why did God. you hurt me? I needed a place to crash and you hurt me. I did nothing to you. Please help me. I'm lost. It burns. The air here is strange. The call came from here. Now I'm broken. They are coming for me. Their gods are silent. I will call out to them. Do we know that Heretic is a druggie? Uh, I mean, Heretic is... Uh, he, he's done some party drugs before, but usually it's just rich kid drugs, you know. Nothing, but we nothing know that he's on rich wild. kid drugs. Yeah, but like he's it's never been like a big problem for him, you know? So he's, he's never he's... OD'd before? No, absolutely not. Okay. Is he well, also still a, is he a still an academy student like us? Mm-hmm. Because it um, just shows the party of the texts. Guys, oh. we should probably get out of here soon in case my ex decides to crash the party, so. Maybe his apes are gone too. Should Maybe. we? Call the police? Is is he going to be okay? Uh he's he's done some 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 stuff before, so I Nancy. mean if he dies right now, 
Are you okay with that? Oh, very down. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> so down for that. Um, maybe I should call to do the hero thing. How long ago were the two of you together? Great Just question. Fairly You're recent. Called. You're calling that. It was fairly recent, right? Yeah. How how serious do we want this to be? Like two years or so? Like let's say like two years it's is a little of serious and not serious. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, not marriage, but serious. That works. Has he ever done this before? Not to this extent. Do you care about him? <sighs> okay, just starts calling him. Well, I'll just see if he needs like a pickup or something. Just trying to get my attention. Starts dialing the number. We're sorry. The number that you've reached is not currently available. Oh, what did I mean? Well, that's not good. You could be dead. Totally good. Nancy, is there a cute little cafe around here? Absolutely. Just down in the lobby, off to the left. Uh, it's a green security zone, so you'll be able to go over there immediately without problems. Did you want me to have the the, the adjusted paperwork delivered to you via courier? Courier. Uh, sure. Yes, please. Great. Then just let us no notify us using that same number that you had when you like transportation back to your homes. And if there's anything else that you need, don't hesitate to ask. Here's my card. Yes. Can you triangulate a phone? <laughs> yes. Can't Jimmy uh, do that too? I think Jimmy's busy. Oh, okay. Yeah, can you do it then, Nancy? Absolutely. We have a suicidal ex who is uh, threatening to kill themselves, and we must be heroes and find them. I'm sorry to hear that. But here, go ahead and oh, don't pass, be sorry. pass me the information. Hands her the phone. Okay. She looks over at you, Sadie, for a moment. It, it's It's... Woo! And then, oh Ooh, man, just I am get, so... returns that look to her. <laughs> forward, forward, forward. Copies. Uh, she moves it over her tablet, just does a little boop, boop, passes it back to you. Uh, looks like, um, uh, you know, actually, we're having trouble pinning it down. Uh, but. We have noticed that a cell tower in the area has gone out. So maybe if you go to that dark zone, it uh, looks like a church in the Bronx. Huh? Why would he be there? That's weird. Well, at least we got something to do until the contract is ready. Do you need transportation? Yes. And as I don't know if I'll have time to pick it up, could you get me a commemorative mug for my mother? Of course. I'd be happy to arrange really? that. I was actually wanting to stop by the souvenir shop on the way out, but this really? is acceptable. Uh, what? I'm I'm sorry that I'm in no rush to go and meet your murderous ex. No, I'm just saying we could just get this stuff for free. That's why I asked Nancy to. Do you want us to give that to you or deliver it for you? Oh. Mother would probably feel better if it was delivered to her. Special. We'll take care of it. Thank you. Hi, can okay. I get a heartfelt message written up? Here's the family dynamic. <laughs> Walk off as she takes care of that. The black SUV is already pulled up and ready for you. All right, let's go and risk our lives for the second time today. The American Yay. didn't kill me, but heretic might. As you are hopping in the car and making your way over, the social media is starting to blow up in the area. Um about something going on in the Bronx. Uh-oh. Well? Do you think this would be a bad time to post a contract gif? <laughs> yeah. Eyes emoji. <laughs> Maybe once we've actually signed. True. What does the social media say? Somebody posted a picture of the church encased in crystal. Oh. Crystal Pirate active again? The heck's a Crystal Pirate? pirate. <laughs> crystal, crystal Pirate is a, uh, I, I want to say almost infamous, one of the original gimmick villains. He has control over crystals, uh, and he is a proud, outspoken communist. So he oh. does things like steal an entire bank vault by surrounding it with crystals and then flying away on a Crystal Pirate ship 
in order to give the money for, to the proletariat. Uh, he's uh, he's one and of those. Go ahead. You're telling me this guy wasn't called Comrade Crystal? Uh, no, he was um, <laughs> Crimson Crystal Captain for a while. Nobody's ever called him Comrade Crystal because he has this like flair, right? Every time uh -huh. he does something. Um, he's one of those villains who gets captured all the time and is on pretty good terms with the heroes who usually capture him. Uh, uh, and he's been around for ages. It's a legacy villain. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He's, everyone's like, oh, yeah, Crystal Pirate. Absolutely. Almost He's harmless. A highly capable telekinetic. <laughs> With power over crystals. A bright mm. red light. Is it is the crystal red? No, it used to be. That again, you might have old information. Because he used ah. to control crystal. Actually, the crystal is blue and violet. Oh. Wait, what about the crystal that we saw? Was that blue and violet? Over the church? No, over the building that we Yeah, actually the know. exact same color. Oh, y'all, there's a connection. What, what, when when Abby like shows us the feed, uh, Pronto mm -hmm. brings out the the crystal that was looted from the. Is uh, um... comparing that to the church? It's basically the same material. The church picture immediately turns into a broken JPEG. Hmm. Who attacks the church? Sir, do we know anything lost. special about that church? Atheists? Um, Heretic's power was sort of connected to faith in a way. Like he could harness it and manipulate it to accomplish all sorts of things. Um, but he branded himself as this very like edgy person. Um, so he, he would have gone to like an abandoned church to do a photo shoot or whatever. But this was like an active church with a community. Let's say it's Presbyterian. I'm enjoying the irony of the nemesis of a group called the Crusaders being religious powered. <laughs> <laughs> so are okay. we next to the church yet? You're on your way. Um, but okay. the moment that you pull out the crystal, all your signal is lost. My bad. And when it goes back mm -hmm. to your dimensional pocket, everything yeah. comes back. So, really who strange. wants to put money on the fact that this is crystal stopping the cell phone? That seems well, we pretty factual. We can confirm. We just zoom, 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 zoom. Actually, I forgot. Right. Um, Heretic's, Heretic's Achilles heel is holy water and anything holy. And his powers don't work on holy ground, on sacred ground. Excuse uh, so me. I misspoke earlier. He's not ever supposed to go into churches. I was going to say, wow. Yeah. Yeah. He still has photo shoots there. Well, this but, is know. bad. <laughs> Only on like old churches that aren't like, you know, they've been abandoned for a long time, that kind of thing. They're not like consecrated. Yeah, he's into like religious imagery and that sort of not full goth, but like slightly in that direction. Yeah, but, yeah. Like up like preppy goth sort of, you know, <laughs> tuxedos and shit. Um, so yeah. we have weird crystal beasts that were at the warehouse now there is going to be weird crystal beasts at a church that apparently your ex who does not like church is there or this mm. near but... well this will help our signing bonus if we figure it out <laughs> as you pull up you can hear sirens going off uh there's a police cordon being formed around the church uh they're like all right yeah, citizens go ahead and stand back we're bringing in the metahuman task force to deal with this we have this under control people it's probably just a pirate again. The okay. highly trained bodyguard who's driving the car with you is going to go ahead and say, uh, you're sure this is the place? This is where you want to get out? That. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Okay. Are you going to wait for us? This was meant to be one way. Do you have... Do you need something? Oh, no, it's fine. You can go. Just was wondering. All right. How distractingly hot is the driver? Uh, uh tall, dark, and handsome. Very, very... Slides like, her number just... on a piece of telekinesis <laughs> or a paper over. <laughs> well, just like... when we need a ride, we could call. 
Oh, nice. If you need a rent. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to call. Tip for tap, baby. Tip for tap. Oh, redacted. All right. So, church. Sword crusher. <laughs> All right, but yeah, as you arrive, the church is encased in a solid layer of this purple blue crystal. It's glowing from within. It has, it's like a, it's almost like the church is iced over, right? It's a few inches thick. It's over the windows. It's over the doors, uh, and it's making it's making the same resonant humming. There's people hmm. taking fi- pictures, but they can't send any photos because their si- service is completely blocked. You said he's just gonna walk up past the the line. Excuse the me, scrim- line of scrimmage. Excuse me, there. Um, this is a this is a crime scene. We can't allow you through. Shows the giant scythe. I'm trying to help break out people from inside. Wooden swing. <laughs> they look at each other like do we know any medicines with a scythe scythe branding um, are hero licenses a thing in this world Nate yeah but um, they're usually it's not like you can just go out for your hero license um, but mm. powered can I start showing them like my like our social medias <laughs> roll a clout check please <laughs> <laughs> actually you can't because signal's blocked here Oh, that's true. Mm-hmm. Well, what's the disgusting just starts walking <laughs> towards the <laughs> church. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have stealth? No. No. Is that all a right. special trait? Uh, it's a it's a skill you can pick up. Um. All right. So you're gonna go ahead and sneak back, and they turn around, they notice you, you're like, "Hey, get back here!" But not before you move up to just one the... swing. Okay. <laughs> uh, they can't stop you, so go for it. All right. What do I have to roll? You're going to roll 2d6 plus uh, your attack value, which might be different with with the scythe. Oh, God. I totally blanked on how this works. Just scroll up. Surely I have a roll of attacking (laughs) somewhere. Actually, yeah, you will. So your combat value is a 9, and you have the have a lot attack of mastery of plus two, so you should have at least an 11. If you're making a range attack, it's a plus six instead, so that's a plus 15 for making a range attack with your scythe. Are and you doing using a... your inspire? Uh, that is gone now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so just 2d6 plus 15? Let's say yes for unless, now. I think, it. unless you add your psychic blast, do you add your no. psychic blast as part of that? No? Okay. Wait, why not? Oh, no, yes, you would. No, you don't add the weapon rank to it. The weapon rank determines the damage that it's going to do. Okay, then, yeah, the attack bonus should be 15 then, I believe. Yep, roll 2d6 plus 15 to attack the ice. Or the crystal. Nice. Okay, a 23 versus... By the way, I am totally going to inspire us as soon as I can go Hulk mode. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hello, computer. So it's, wait, ranged attack plus attack mastery. Plus combat. Uh, so it should be 12 value. plus 2, 14 plus 9. Oh, it 17 It be, like, then. way higher. Well, because you, you should get attack mastery plus ranged attack if you're making a ranged attack, I think. Yeah, so and it's two eight. points per ranged attack, I thought. Attack oh, is it, I, I just saw points. Oops. <laughs> I'm I'm not, yeah, I got to look back at my rolls from before. Yeah, if it's two points per rank, you have two ranks, so that would be four, plus range attack is 10, so that would be at least a 19. So you should add four to that. All right, plus four then. <laughs> okay. I guess I guess it just depends if there's any delineation between using the Psychic Blast and using the Scythe itself. No, well, I was just gonna use the Psychic Blast. The Scythe is like the thing that powers the blast, uh, or, or it's the, the manifestation of it. Because isn't the Psychic Blast like more armor and shields and all that, so. Yeah, because it, it goes the, the ice. Mind. Okay, so how much damage do you do on a successful hit? That's going to be the what your damage factor. Oh, plus or seven damage multiplier. Ah, uh, wait, y'all. That's a two times range attack. So if it's a ranged attack, that's twelve. So twelve plus four is sixteen. So that would be way higher because you have a max out range <laughs> well, attack. Oh, we hit. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. You hit. Um, how many ranks do you have in in psychic blast? Effective six. Ranks? Six. 
Okay, so you deal six times the weapon. What's level six? Mm hmm. Okay, I'm Betty. confused. Betty six. Okay. Yeah, I believe that's going to be it. Drive values. Let's see. Damage multiplier. All right. And I'm going to look at the weapon attribute in the book. Attributes, attributes, attributes. Character attributes, weapon. All right, let's see. Weapon. It inflicts an amount of damage equal to the weapon level multiplied by the character's damage multiplier. So, what's your damage multiplier? Seven. Seven times six is what, 42? No. Yeah, 42. 42. All right. You hit for 42 points of damage with the psychic blast, and the crystals absorb all of it. Hmm. That's new. Does it, does it look damaged at all or no? No. Hmm. Is it completely encased or is there like some manner of entrance? It appears to be completely encased, but if you want to look for any sort of fractures, faults, or weak spots, you certainly can try. Yeah, I'll fly I, I, around I, with him and okay, look for stuff. Him up. I can show you the church. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, do you have any special awareness abilities, Pronto? Uh, nope. <laughs> Okay. Just just look in with my eagle eyes, baby. Maybe 2d6 plus mind, please. I roll two? Mm, yeah, you can if you want. Unless you have a special that oh, has to do with... I forgot to roll it. Profoundly unlucky. Okay. It looks like the stained glass window above the sanctuary in the back is where the crystal most recently grew over meaning that it's still only partially formed. I you bet can, Boria could crash through that. You can attack a weak point by taking a obstacle, which means you roll 36, take the worst. But if you hit, succeed, you may do double damage or other benefits. I think I've got some, uh, some uh, combat techniques as well that make me lose uh, the... Oh, yeah? You penalty want, for attacking take, weak spot or doing take combat a literal leaders. shot at it yeah why not uh okay. pronto's his little uh flashy deagle comes out of his uh pocket dimension <laughs> hold me steady city <laughs> oh, uh, takes uh takes a shot at the the center of the stained glass where it appears to be closing in all right, roll 2d6 plus your uh, attack value plus any ranged bonuses or other attribute bonuses that you may have to this. I Versus... roll 46 because I get major edges on everything because of extra d6. That's right. <laughs> you just took Were you the doing eye. the weak point? So, so would that make it 3d6 take the best? I, I the... lose the, I don't get, um, I think I don't get the obstacles got... from doing them because I've got a combat, a combat technique. technique. Oh wow! Yeah, he's he's all about sharpshooting and such. That's awesome. All right. Uh, uh, did you take your? Oh, did you? Sorry, what? Plus ten. I'm just. Uh, boom! I think this is right. So that would be take away six from that for the one and the five. Does a twenty nine hit? Yeah. Cool. Uh, right in the weak point. What's the damage on that weapon? Uh, it's level four. I have damage multiplier of seven, and so I believe it's doubled for a weak point thing. So that's 56. Okay. Crack! The stained glass window and the crystal in that area shatters. Nice. And inside, you see somebody floating above the altar with strands, almost like coils, like flexible strands of that same crystal extending out in all directions, glowing with purple and green and blue light. And Heretic turns to look at you through and at you, Sadie, through the window. I think it looks haunted like this. Stop. <laughs> we should go get the other. <laughs> it's just flies down. <laughs> go get Abby and my hand That's... my hand you shot me <laughs> stop it 
Stop and laughing he, at him. You're going to make him mad. pulls his arm away from the wall and some of the uh, strands of, of crystal pull away and chunks of the church also fall away. And he's starting to reach up towards you, Pronto. Has Can there we... been enough time where, sorry, where Buria could have snuck off as Buria and then returned as the Winter Wampus without it yes. being connected? Okay, you can be perfect. Wampusified. Abby, what are you doing? Am I, am I, I'm not there, am I? You're in I the car. I was going to go get you. Yeah, so two of the heroes are flying around the back of the church. The other two were out in front. Uh, Buria left, the Winter Wampus returned. But you're still up front of the church with the car. What do you want to do? Um, can I try and use judge opponent on the crystal? Mm -hmm. Is it opponent? You can try. How does okay. that work? Um, so it is my combat technique and da, da, da. I'm just trying to like see if I can figure out information about it. And so it says I can judge their approximate combat value and weapon ability mm -hmm. um, and their health points. Okay. Combat value is 11. 15 with ranged. Health points is 100. Okay. Was there something else I owed you? No. Okay. That's it. Ponto and Sadie, you want to fly around before Heretic can do anything to you? Fly, 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 please. Okay. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. The two of you arrive on the other side. The Winter Wampus is deployed. Abby is studying this crystal shell, and the action is all on you. Could the Winter Wampus be like jumping from off camera and then like in the hole that Pronto just made, they just crash through that window and into the church? Let's wait until the team forms a plan and then yes, let's do that. Okay. Oh man, I love flying. I don't want crystals to kill me. Could I get some peppermint please? What? what? It's just addressing Buria. <laughs> yeah, Buria activates their insightful aura. Empty <laughs> mm, freshness. <laughs> All of you have a plus six because your senses are now fully awakened and your sinuses are open. Yes. <laughs> so, we confirmed it's heretic in there. Say he was in Chris. He was encased in crystal. Not sure what's going on. Um, maybe I'll try talking to him. Are we? Are we ready to go? Uh, can we? Take a quick look at those texts again. Shows. <laughs> I will call out to them. I always told him he needed to find Jesus. <laughs> I think... I think he found him. Crystal Mate. Jesus. <laughs> Crystal, Crystal dragon that's Jesus. A yeah um, exactly There's what are you saying Matt Jesus. can uh can Buria use their heightened senses and uh mm -hmm. awareness to see if there's others in the church other than uh heretic present there's nobody else in the church it's just heretic. understandable um all right the team is gathered together you haven't seen any more activity from inside the church yet what do you want to do Buria's going to go in the church mm -hmm. okay does does everyone else want to follow yeah yeah okay. you're going in um go ahead is there do we have service in here nope these crystals, no wi-fi these crystals interfere with electronic signals so no cell service. oh no mm -hmm. okay oh, no. so just letting the dm know that i have a minor a slight disadvantage whenever you don't have wi-fi <laughs> yeah <laughs> Is that like a superpower thing, or is that just being really frustrated that you can't scroll, doom scroll? Like, is that? I mean, technically, I'm cursed oh, when well, I when I'm go. out of cell range. Well, you are out of cell range. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> slight, oh, no. slight disadvantage. Level two. Okay. Well, let's have everybody roll for uh, roll for initiative. Roll two d six plus your combat value, or three d six might and uh, take the worst two if you're pods and you don't have signal. Uh, which one of the combat values? Attack or defense? Attack value. Three D six. Three D six and take the worst two. Oh god. 
tragic. <laughs> you got four. Hey. Oh, did you add your you add your combat attack value to that, Pods? Oh, okay. Um. So whatever your combat value is, plus four. That's a seven. Attack? Yeah. We're just. Your attack uh, combat value. Attack combat value. Okay, mm -hmm. so plus seven. All right, and so, let, you got eleven. Yeah. Okay, let's roll for our boy heretic, or whoever's driving at the moment. Oh. Okay, fifteen. Buria, hmm. you're up. Buria's just gonna crash right through the the church. Okay. Uh, it's one force action, of nature. It's so. one action to move into that zone, and you break through effortlessly because you are the winter wampus. Yes. As you How much structural damage does he do? <laughs> How much structural damage does a winter wampus do? Yes. Uh, I mean you're pretty large. I think you're larger than the than the window. So you sort of dive, but you take some of the masonry with you when you when you break through. <laughs> Buria is over 20 feet tall. Oh, yeah, yeah. The answer to your question, like that is yes. That's how much structural damage he inflicts. So sightline established, I think it's fair to say. <laughs> yes. You break through the back. Buria wears eight tons, by the way. <laughs> you smash through the back of the church, the winter wampus tearing through. And you see Eretic dressed in, he's sort of disheveled. He's got a shirt that's like half buttoned and opened. Uh, his belt is unbuckled, His and he's only wearing one shoe. He's also glowing with purple and blue flickering uh, coruscating light, and he's got strands of flexible crystal stretching out from his body into the sides of the church. The crystal strands on his arm reach out probably a good 15, 20 feet, and his arm has torn loose from it. Hey, what? He tore, not, not, it's not like ripped from his socket. He is sort of connected, webbed almost to the uh -huh. sides of this thing, but he pulled his arm loose and there's oh, strands see. of crystal that blow out flexibly from it a good 15 feet. Okay, okay. One action to uh, enter the church, smash. All right, I have uh, four actions in total. So mm -hmm. first action, enter the church. Uh, second action, uh, it's only this this person here as far as we can tell, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Boria's going to turn into a blizzard and a localized blizzard that's just going to jump on top of Heretic. Okay. You use an action to transform into a blizzard. We went over yep. how this worked last time and then we made some modifications. Start yes. doing... Uh, if you can run through that, we'll, we can go to leg day and then you can come back to me with the numbers. Yeah, Unless I'm just going to start off with one attack with blizzard. If that doesn't drop him, I'm going to do a second one. I don't want to kill Heretic. I just want to mm -hmm. stop them from being crystally. Actually, if it's possible, would I be able to start knocking off all these crystals everywhere i kind of feel like they're going to start using crystals to fight us yeah you could attack like the strands in it you could attack the the crystal shell instead of Eric. yeah i've got my team that can take out heretic i want to stop these crystals and boria is going to turn into a blizzard that's big mm -hmm. enough to where they can fly around the church and start destroying all these crystals okay and that's you roll an attack versus my defense right yep okay roll it and when i'm in winter wumpus i or sorry when i'm in my blizzard I have, uh, what is it called here? Potent enchantment. So I have a major edge on my rolls while in blizzard form, and I can reroll twice per use. Sweet. So that's Go a, for it. That's a 4d6 mm -hmm. plus, it was 10 plus 6 for inspire. Up below us, so 5, 26. Okay. Versus my 24. That is enough to attack the crystals. How much damage do you do? Uh, right now, 108 damage. Okay. The crystals absorb 50 of that, leaving you with 58 points of damage. And I do that twice, right? I need to roll attack again. Uh, we're going to go to leg day, then we're going to go to you, then we're going to go, we're going to alternate back and forth. But all of them will happen before the villain goes. Well, the uh, enemy goes. Okay. All right. Pronto, it's your turn. Line of sight is established. Blizzard mode, Wampus is flowing through, like breaking. I'd like to... Uh, offer a, a 10 point retcon for some rule of cool. I'm listening. Uh, as as Boria leaps into the building, one mm -hmm. like, Boria, blizzard blast! And as Boria is about to turn into a blizzard, uh, Pronto is going to attempt to do a surprise attack by shooting through 
uh, Borea. Yes, we in, talked about this. Into the into the legs, into the weak spots. So uh, I'm providing where cover. He's connected. Yeah, where he's connected to the crystal. But as the bullets are about to pierce Borea, that's when he goes Oosh, into the blizzard. So, so it emerges. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Through blizzard Borea. blast. I'm here for it. Uh, so that gives me my two attacks, which I roll without the minor because I've got my precise aim. Uh, and each of these are at one of the like connections to the crystal. I am reasonably uh, certain. So take the uh, take eight off of forty-two, and take six off of forty-one. I'm reasonably certain that you're still succeeding here. Yeah. Okay. Both of those hit. You need that damage, please. And it's precisely targeted not to hurt Eretic at all. Yeah, it's at the like crystal sinews mm -hmm. that are connecting him to the church. On the uh, legs. That... One at each leg, yeah. right? Cool. Yep. Give me them rolls. Uh, Just four times seven, I think. I'm not entirely sure how. Yeah, 56. Uh, how... Okay. So yep. it's 56 damage. The armor does still kick in. No, no, no. Because you shot the weak point, which is going to mm -hmm. bypass the armor. So... As you shoot that, both of his legs are now freed. He's dangling by one arm. That's the only part that's still connecting him. Though he does have the strands rising from his hand. All that right. Both my actions. Sadie. And then we're going to go uh, Buria twice. Uh, so what's the heretic looking like? One now that he's dangling. Is he in pain or still channeling? You don't see out. any pain on his face. You just like his his eyes are are just wide open, and he doesn't look afraid. He doesn't look anything. Just huh? Just gonna f where am I? I guess I'll spend an action to fly in front, mm -hmm. like right in front of him. Okay. And just see if he responds. Like, what? Well, what's his real name or first name? His real name is. Montague, Montague Byron. Oh, I say Mon a... oh wait, I'm dating dated a Monty. Oh yeah. shit! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Oh. Mont Monty, Monty, just kind of gives him a shoulder sh shake. Mm -hmm. Okay, if... roll soul, unless you have an attribute that would apply further to this. No. Okay, roll two d six plus soul. Okay, sixteen. He blinks a couple of times. Sadie. What are you doing? Why'd you kill me? I didn't kill you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Not yet! <laughs> All of you, you killed me. I was just How? trying to hide. On what? The night. Is this Nightmare. in all of our heads? Or just he's talking heads? out loud. Oh wait, and we know that he's not. He gets kind of nerfed by churches and stuff. Yeah, churches like nerf his powers. Why are you in a church? Why are your gods silent? Why can't I hear them? Who are you trying to reach out to? I'm scared, Sadie. Yeah, you're freaking me out too. Who are you talking to? I think she might be talking to the crystal and not the heretic. Well, I guess let's free his last arm and... I don't know. Okay. You want to use the scythe to blast yeah, away have a, that? Yeah, I have an extra action, so... Oh. So I think I figured it out. So it should be 12 from ranged attack and then plus 11 with a nine plus two attack mastery. Cool. Plus six. Plus six. Oh, yeah. Okay. And plus six. The psychic blast cuts through the crystals. Heretic drops. Can I catch him? Okay. Yeah, you can catch him. Cause I have, well, I have telekinesis so I can just make him float. Then. Okay, so, well, does that need that? No, it's cool. It's cool that way. All right, he's floating. He's now cut off from all places, but he still has the tendrils that are sprouting from his arm. But you can see that they're starting to crumble. They're starting to crack. They're starting to become brittle and just fall away along the sides. All right, Buria, unless you had anything else you wanted to do, Sadie. No. Okay, Buria, you have a couple more actions. 
uh, Heretic has been disconnected from the walls of the church. The crystal is still all over the place. Yeah, Buria is just going to continue being a giant blizzard that encompasses the church, not attacking his allies, only attacking uh, the crystals. Okay. He's trying to shatter and make them all moot so they don't come after anybody. Yeah, after two more attacks of just clinging to them and freezing them, they become so brittle that they just start to crack and fall. And it's now it's like it's snowing this glittering stuff as you destroy the rest of the shell inside. Is it possible for Buria to make sure, since he has really good control over his blizzard, to save one little chunk like they did last time so we have evidence that the crystal was here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And I think it, surprisingly, I think it was Pronto. No, not it wasn't Pronto. No, yeah, it was Pronto that was holding on to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Abby, what would you like to do? Um... I would like to focus and perceive what's going to happen in the next 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that yeah, is such a, that? Ridic- yeah, such a ridiculous <laughs> power. Do you have to roll for that to work or does it just work? Um, I think it needs to hit a 12 or something. Most of these powers need to hit at least a 12. I don't know. It doesn't say anything. All right, what's the, what's the attribute called? Cognition. Cognition, okay. Let's see, cognition. It's on page 71 of the book. Cognition, okay. Um, It looks like you just- It's a level three. It. Yeah, you just use it. Oh my God, that's so busted. You can't use it to anticipate an opponent's attack actions during an attack round. And it's at level three, so you're proceeding 10 minutes into the future, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. As you open your mind and expand your awareness, you see a heretic twitching, just like convulsing. And you see Pronto leaving. Okay. Uh, so team, <laughs> I'll share that image with the team. Mm-hmm. Okay, you just like, you, you telepathically just project that in everyone's minds, right? Because you can do that. Yeah. And you're not even in, you're not even in the church yet. You're still outside, so you just. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Question. Buria. Do we see in the image that is being sent to us that Pronto is leaving, but the rest of us are staying? Or we only see in the image that Pronto is leaving? With no All that's other... clear is Pronto leaving. Also, is Sadie coming to get me? Oh yeah, I got you. Brought you up before the battle began. Mm, okay, so you were you were telekinetically brought along. Got it. Got it. I have the scene with me now. <laughs> that telekinesis is so good. You're just, it's <laughs> so good. Yeah. She, I'm gonna find like master. a little a little corner to just mm-hmm. like Look for hide signal. in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I got a oh, bar. I, I forgot to mention. In the next ten minutes, you have cell cell service. Oh. That's good. That's actually happening pretty soon. <laughs> good. Um, so at least not all is lost. <laughs> Unlike the cell signal. <laughs> um, I guess that's it. I'm just going to... I want to hole around like in a corner. Mm-hmm. So that way nothing comes gets me. And... You go off into like one of the, the choir room. Like one of the choir prep rooms in the church. Just... Yeah. All right. Do we have a way to safeguard? Uh, this is not Buria. This is Matt. Just kind of mm-hmm. generally asking the team. Do you have a way to stop Heretic from ODing on whatever it is that they're freaking out on? Well, effectively, yeah. the combat is over. You guys have have scoured. Buria has just gone, you know, cold nuke on the crystals inside. You've disconnected him from all the things. The the tendrils on his side are dying. Uh, so you can hear people outside shouting as the crystal on the outside of the church begins to like cr- fracture and fall down. You ever see those uh, videos where people are like moving snow off of a roof and suddenly just goes whoosh? Sort of that going on. So yeah. now it's it's free free exploration mode again for everybody. What appears to be the the area from which the rest of the crystal is going apart from Heretic? Is it just like on his chest or something? Like, where is the crystal seemingly spawning from in terms of, like, geometry we can see? It was originating from multiple points inside of his body. 
but as it fades away, it, it doesn't look like it punched through his body. It's more like it, he sweated it out and it kept growing. It doesn't seem to have done any lasting damage to him. But it was growing from multiple places on his body. It did punch through his clothes. So, like, his long sleeve shirt, and that very nice, like, expensive brand, Nordstrom's Plus sort of brand. It's got holes in it. His pants, like, the legs of his pants have holes in them all over the place. He's a complete wreck. He is still That's wearing his usual. Rolex, though. Ah, uh, I can mount Pardon me. So wait, we just tries have the heretic still yeah, you're, up there. You're just floating. You dropped off Abby. You're floating. You've got Monty. You've got heretic floating. Uh, the crystals are all starting to crumble away. Everything's falling. You can hear people shouting as big old slabs are falling off the sides. And he's still just floating there. And the, the glassy stare in his eyes is fading. And his eyes are starting to just shake back and forth. Can the Winter Wumpus expend 10 energy points in order to extend their Inspire to try to get Heretic to uh, to fight off whatever it is that's availing them? Like the Winter Wumpus like moves up, picks up, like kind of cradles uh, Heretic in one of their mm -hmm. giant massive paws and uh, like looks down at them, kind of giving them like the fear of God. Like, you are greater than this ailment that you have succumbed to. Push on, heretic. And, uh, yeah. Something along those lines. Okay, uh, 21 on that. He starts to cough, and as he does, flecks of powdered crystal are coming out of his nose and his mouth. Bonta would like to try and catch some of those flecks. It's very phlegmy. Yeah. Is it in hand there? Yeah. So like stares down at it and he, he tries to not be at earshot of the others as it's gonna look really weird mm -hmm. it's like who are you he says to the phlegm <laughs> the phlegm does not respond wipes it off on a wall <laughs> i think sadie will try and like approach him well, like she can fly so she can approach him just to like mm -hmm. Hit his back, you know, you burp a baby, you know, mm -hmm. you just. What did you take? Who gave this to you? And it's just thinking he just took drugs, just trying to burp the baby, <laughs> essentially. All right. Uh, he's pretty out of it. Like, he's he's spitting it out. He's, he's bodily recovering, but the brain fog going on right now is intense. Uh, and then he starts to shake. Ugh. And uh, the holy ground of the church, now that he's touching it, begins to burn him. Oh, I can't, I can't still have him floating. Okay, what then, is yeah. burning? Uh, he was going to be burning if he was touching the floor in the church, but oh, he's not. I see. Yeah, holy ground, his weakness. So you're just air air burping him. Um, <laughs> I'm going to roll a mind check for him to see if he uh... I successfully burps. <laughs> no, to see uh, if, like, his brain is working. Oh, my. Uh, 27. Oh. Is that with that plus six? Mm-hmm. Nice. Sadie! Oh! You can't see me like this! Oh. You're the one who texted me. Get a hold of yourself. It's embarrassing. A few months ago. Block to me. Oh, that's cold. Let's him drop. <laughs> <laughs> Borea grabs him. Borea grabs him before he hits the ground. Uh, I think it's funnier if he lands, burns for a moment, and then Borea picks him up. Borea picks him up and he squeezes him just a little too tight around the ribs. What the hell are you? Ugh. Unhand me! Okay. <laughs> Wait, no! <laughs> <laughs> Make up your mind, weakling. And he picks him back up again. Okay. 
God. Oh, put me down outside. Uh, okay. He Just throws not... him out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Borea. I love you too, Marco. I mean, Pronto. <laughs> Abby, you have cell service again. It's spotty. Awesome. It keeps flickering between 4G and 5G, but it's coming back. Data, your ex goes flying out a window. <laughs> so just starts flying down. Can I take a picture and post that um, the church is now coming back to normal? Mm -hmm. You, uh, I assume you angle it so that the massive wampus-sized hole in the side isn't in the shot? Yeah. Okay. I just want to be the first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You're inside. No one else is inside. And, and coverage is just now coming back. So, yeah, first. 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 Nice. Buria. Nah. Just makes like a kind of motion. Gambas are coming back. Buria. Uh, oh. If the needs must. And he shrinks back down. He wants to his little. Yeah, he dewampify. He, uh, what, what did we say? He re devitos? <laughs> he re devitos, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Winter Wampus re devitos back into Buria. Abby is posting. Buria is de is re devitoing. What are uh, Pronto and Sadie doing? Until Flux. we got Flux the is scene, your superhero name. I need to remember to use. Buria your wants name. to hop inside of uh, Pronto's other dimension because Buria shouldn't be seen on the scene until they're clear. Can he fit in your other dimension? Yeah. He's little tiny baby. Yeah. Okay. It, he, yeah. It's uh. It's. Quite large, actually. I think it's almost like but 100 the aperture, meters. like yeah. The the, the aperture kind of just like grows larger because I've got localized shape shifting all over, so oh. my hand can just get bigger. <laughs> oh, that's okay. All right. So he just... <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, don't really. I think it would start going back and telling the police it's all clear. You know, mm. those who are doing this barricade. And posting for Pr pictures while the fans are there. <laughs> Pr Pronto walks up after Sadie, and he sort of like gestures over at everything. There's the one responsible, and then goes to join for pictures. <laughs> 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 All right, get the zappers. Just talk to this kid. Uh, look, I, I appreciate you two pitching in. A lot of you pitching in. I am going to need you to file an official incident report. Uh, standard metahuman vigilante activity form 1037. Sounds like a like that's your job. <laughs> that's that's a skill issue. Look, Sounds like a you skill issue. issue. <laughs> oh look, I've been working this beat for a while. All right, and the only way that this entire arrangement works is if we all play by the same rules. So I'm gonna need to make if I can get your information here, and he's gonna get out a clipboard and like writing a ticket, but not like a citation, more just like just write your information here. So contact with the incident report questions here's one for you was anyone else involved are you registered with an official team or organization is twitch.tv a team no twitch.tv is not a team for independent contractors does it matter why are you asking so many questions the bad guys just... over there no no again i'm not ungrateful this is just look you know how much paperwork I have to do after an incident i'm not trying to give you a hard time here this just gives just comes... them the money symbol <laughs> Pronto tries to like put down hand. <laughs> it's good. It's good. <laughs> Look, go find here. Just sign the paperwork. <laughs> just sign. And walks away. <laughs> all right. All right. Fine. And I'll, I'll pretend Pro you bono didn't just, for today. I'll just pretend you didn't try to bribe an officer. Of the <laughs> We're all so good at pretending, officer. You don't act best. like you've never been bribed, New Jersey. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's because when she uses her superpowers to save people during vigilantism, slight mental breaks, you know, it's a horrifying burden. It's a defect that they got five points back for. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lordy. All right. Um, he's going to go ahead and leave the lot of you. Abby, uh, Wampet, Buria, you are inside the... Uh... Yeah. Dimension. It's Buria like, was never it's there. Like an Buria eye in ran the off the trash a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, like, can I see outside? What? If you just you, yeah, you, you can probably see through the gateway. Oh my gosh! Yeah, no, Buria was just 
chowing out on some candy he left in there a while ago. There was yeah. there was like a, a mouth on your hand. Now there's just Buria's eyeball <laughs> hanging out of your hand. <laughs> like teeth around it. <laughs> God, that's it's nasty. Horrific, and I love it. <laughs> that is that is big nasty. What did we do to Heretic? He is picking himself up. Oh my, where's my phone? God. Oh, did we ever find his phone? Or it see it? No, his phone, his ID, one of his shoes. He, it was a total party kill of, of, a, of a night out. Ooh, party foul. Mm -hmm. He's still, like, picking himself up, uh, dusting glass shards out of his hands and such. Uh, as he moves away from the church and putting it behind him, he uh, clenches his fist and shuts his eye for a moment. Ugh. Nothing. Okay. He's just trying to walk away from the scene. A couple of officers are going to uh, sir, we're going to need to ask you some questions about what just happened here. Are any of you intervening? Ponto is looking on almost excitedly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Am I looking on? <laughs> Let's see. And he, of course, angles his hand as well. <laughs> so there is a can watch. <laughs> My eye in the sky. <laughs> All right. The police go over there. They're having a loud conversation. He ducks his head low and he whispers something to them. They look at each other. They talk to each other for a moment. Hey, they, take... <laughs> they, they take out the same little clipboard thing. They pass it to him. He just takes the pen and makes one like X hands it back to them, they take it, and they leave. They leave with him? No. Oh. Heretic's getting let go? Mm-hmm. Damn, that was going to make my day even better. When the police uh, leave, mm -hmm. can I use my telekinesis to just hold, hold monster, hold person, is that? On, on heretic? <laughs> yeah. Hold druggie. Okay, uh, roll telekinesis. How do I roll that? You're gonna roll 2d6 plus mind plus your ranks in that ability. Mind plus five, five level fives plus five? Mm -hmm. Okay. 2d6 plus mind plus Dude, five. I'm rolling like ass today. Plus wow. six. Plus six oh, because plus of six. minty freshness. Have them in, baby. Yeah. Win t3. All right, can I use a, uh, can I spend 10 of my energy uh, in order to, can I roll a mulligan for one of those? No. Okay. <laughs> well, Wait, so uh, energy okay. points are just like negotiation? They are, bits? if you'll allow it, points to a certain degree. Ah. Uh. Depend, like you can also attach them to an ability. So you make your ability more powerful, but now it costs energy to use. Other than that, you can spend 50 for a major plot change or 10 for a minor plot change and also the bargaining table is always open okay, okay well can i spend 50 points so that way it works <laughs> <laughs> and i say that heretic slips on a banana peel and while he's midair it's very easy for no oh. because <laughs> okay uh, as you start to leverage your powers around him he stepped away from the church far enough that he clenches his fist and green light shines underneath his skin. It flows from one side to the other. And his own power, his own will, his own uh, heretical belief in himself holds your psychic energy at bay. You can feel it pushing against you the way his ego has pushed against you many, many times. Can I use 90 energy to <laughs> throw his dumbass into the church? Is that, is that all your energy? Yeah, that's all my okay. energy. You spend all your energy, you're unconscious. You pass out. Oh, okay, 89. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, if all your energy is gone. 89? Okay, so for 89 energy, you are extremely <laughs> pissed at him. And what happens is the, the holy water fountain broke in the fight. And it was, the holy water is trickling along the ground. Oh no. And for a moment, he looks extremely cool as he just glows green and starts turning around to look at you. And then that pisses you off 
and you flick just a little bit of the holy water onto him. <laughs> and the, the glow goes away and <laughs> toss his ass in the church and start walking in. <laughs> his arms crossed. All right. So you blocked me, huh? <laughs> Start yeah. spinning the scythe. <laughs> God, Sadie, this is... I don't think she's over him. You can't be this dramatic. It's just... Dramatic? Yes. Yes. You see the weird text you send me? Mr. Uh, have you blocked me? Well, you unblocked me. Down bad looking ass. Sniffing whatever <laughs> the heck looking ass. What are you doing? Look, I, I didn't send any of those. Yeah, well, who did? Yeah, the, the other chick? The mistress? Come on. See, grow up, okay? Let's, grow let's... up! Okay, I'm going to throw a psychic blast at him. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will point out, one of his defects is that he is insufferable. He has a rank one defect of being insufferable. <laughs> Roll the psychic yeah. blast attack. <laughs> he can defend with soul, but he can't defend with any of his powers. What? It's a 39. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> He's twitching now, just like in Abby's vision. <laughs> <laughs> if she kills him, I want that Rolex. But you want the Rolex? Starts to tell uses tele <laughs> telekinesis to remove his watch. Put your hands off of that. <laughs> it's look at who gave you that outfit can't go I to did. peasant give me it back <laughs> right, did, did we just take the super villain that was gonna be off the hook and throw him in a church start mugging him what's happening here <laughs> <laughs> oh, so and the holy ground continues to burn him Abby what are you doing doing during all of this I don't know I guess I'm just Taking pictures with yeah. the Instagram. <laughs> just the. Just recording. It's really cool. You're, you're going to be a reaction gift soon, buddy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Buria is trying to speak to uh, <laughs> to Bronto with Morse code, mostly just yeses and noes, responding to what's happening. <laughs> just blinking, dashes, and toss. <laughs> uh, I mean, should we break this up? I vote no. Oh. We'll just let it let it continue. I look for Buria's out in the blinks. Yes. <laughs> Break it <laughs> up. Buria says yes. Um, how far away is he from me? Oh, well, it, it's a flexible scene. It'd be however you want it to be. You were hiding in the church. He is in the church, uh, bodily dragged there. Well, psychically dragged there. Uh, being slowly withering because of holy ground. Okay. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna run up to where I'm closer to the situation. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna shoot a taser at him. <laughs> Get down! Get down! What? Shoot first, ask questions after. That way he can stop! Stop resisting! Let us take your watch! <laughs> oh my god. You know, I'm not going to look up the rules for what a taser does right now because he's already in such duress that he just gets tased. <laughs> it says, uh, immobilizes a target. Mm -hmm. Such as putting them to sleep or turning them to stone. Can I take his phone while he's <laughs> being stunned? Yeah, well, his phone actually isn't here, but upon a little bit more investigation, it's buried underneath where he was, where he was suspended. Uh, oh. it, it has sustained some damage. It has cracked from getting a bunch of stuff dropped on it. The SIM card's probably still good, but the phone itself is inoperable. Yeah. How did you get out of this police stuff? Our, what did you tell them? All your lies again? Sadie, Sadie, he's asleep. He's asleep. Pronto's kind of watching like this with the blurry eye, and he's like, I think this might be the best day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Buria Morse codes back, yes. So scrolling through his phone. Who the who the hell are you talking to these days anyway? The phone's all dead. your all your hero ho Oh. <laughs> well, 
You don't like, charge your phone ever. Uh, I'd like to, I'd like to spend smashed. 50 energy points to where there's an otter box and it is not <laughs> smashed. Yeah, wait, <laughs> I'm that. sure, I'm sure I have a battery pack on me. It's not like out of power. It got smashed by oh. a church. So yes, I will accept <laughs> your 50 points of energy. Yes, thank you very much. Phone to have survived. It. Okay. Yes. Please continue. Safe. The phone is locked, by the way. <laughs> and the the, the, you know the, lock, you the lock his picture. Face. Just face oh yeah. Scans it. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to, huh? Is when you do that, by the way, his lock picture is a glamour shot of him in black and white, like of a magazine cover oh. picture. And then yeah. when it scans his face, you hear his voice say, "Hey, good looking." And it <laughs> Hey, looks like he's been partying with a bunch of his, like, super wealthy friends around his age. Uh, he was at a loft party last night. I'm trying to find um, his dealer. Because I think yeah. he's under drugs, so I'm trying to find, right. like, who gave him this stuff. Yeah, he talked to his dealer fairly recently, uh, but not last night. Did it look like he acquired some stuff for this party? Mm-mm. The party was very last minute. He wasn't even planning to go. He just rolled up. Didn't he take drugs last night, though? None yeah. of you saw that. Oh, I thought we did. That was, that was an out of character little. But he looks like he's on drugs. The audience mm -hmm. knows. Dramatic yeah. irony. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, as you're Starts searching through his phone, you do see one picture. The last few pictures are of the, the glowing thing that went through the sky last night. Oh yeah, and he he took video. There's video of that glowing thing, and then the Americans' uh, heat ray eyes hit it, and you see something flying towards him. And people are going, "Oh, oh shit!" <laughs> <laughs> huh? Mate, well, you said weird. that you said that when Buria used there. Their, their blizzard to destroy all the crystals. They were it like all busted up and fragmented. Even mm -hmm. though the crystals have been destroyed, there's still fragments of it left, right? Yes, but the crystals here don't seem as energy infused or alive as the entity that you destroyed last night. Oh, interesting. They're they're def clearly related, clearly the same type of substance, but not nearly as glowy or energy infused. Uh, Buria is gonna Morse code blink to pronto dust. <laughs> yeah. Pronto sort of just like runs his hand across the wall so that Buria can literally just pick off any of the dust that he wants. Buria just huffs it as it goes into the <laughs> hand. <laughs> You're huffing it? Yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, you cough a lot because you're inhaling dust. Yep. He's also got two rocks in there. A new one yes. and the old one. I am planning not to do the rock. <laughs> I was going to see if we, we microdose it first to see if anything happens. Please do not smoke this rock. <laughs> I was going to text the the party people. Like, are we on like tonight or this weekend? Whatever is party appropriate. I was going to text the dealer. I need some more or something like need some more. Can we meet up or something? Whatever lingo he uses in his text. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you know his lingo already. That you have one hundred percent got that on file. Uh, Yo, it's your boy Makushio. I need some more <laughs> dust. His his bro Lawrence messages back and says, "Dude, where are you? Holy shit! Holy I shit, just woke what? up." <laughs> <laughs> it's like a levity, I I guess. It's like noon at this point. You drove back from the Five Shields complex. So. so Lawrence is the bro? Yeah, Lawrence is like his bro who was next to him when he filmed that video. Just uh, text back. Uh, went for a walk. Uh, you good? <laughs> I don't know how you walked. That shit was ridiculous. Uh, text back, uh, what happened? I, I can barely remember last night. You 
don't remember powderizing that glowing thing. Shows obviously showing the party all the text. What, what powder thing? What? We watched the video together, right? Mm -hmm. Oh man, this dickhead sniffed the monster. <laughs> Sylvia said she'd give you her number if you did it. <laughs> Who's Sylvia? <laughs> Taste him again. <laughs> 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 Text back. <laughs> I was gonna, oh, I was gonna be mean, but I gotta be in character. <laughs> Is that uh, not in character? I was gonna say, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> now Sadie wants to say something, but she's not gonna text it. Mm -hmm. Fuck that Sylvia. Um, Dude, I wish. Oh, can we, can we meet up, bro, or whatever <laughs> lingo? <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. Bro. <laughs> come out, bro. I don't even want to move. If you can come over here with food, please. <gasps> okay, what address do I give the Dasher again? Uh, he'll send you. It's, again, like a penthouse in the nice part of town. Um... A, f a fancy bachelor loft. Did the dealer get back to them? Get, get back to me? I thought Lawrence was the dealer. No, Lawrence is his bro. Okay. So yeah, the dealer, dealer no, no, the dealer hit him back up. He's like, yeah, what are you looking for? How much? I got you. Same as last time. Available now, question mark? Uh, where? <laughs> How's your connection with God? <laughs> <laughs> Man, doing a drug deal by a church just doesn't sit right with me. Doing a drug deal doesn't sit right with me. <laughs> well, we got to find out what he took. The, his bro told him. They they snorted the thing in the sky. It flew down to them after your new boyfriend. Don't be insulted, he says to Heretic. <laughs> Laser eyed him. <laughs> okay, then we only care about Talking to Lawrence and not dealer? Yeah. You should send the dealer to Jersey. <laughs> you monster. <laughs> because that but... would really make him hate everything. So, 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 wait. I, I'm, I'm inside of a pocket dimension, so I can't say anything. But this I is think just... you can you can communicate out like this. Oh, can I? Yeah, oh. Sure. oh, okay, great. I didn't realize that. Oh, well, why have I been flicking with my damn eyes this whole time? <laughs> I think Burry just wanted to show off. They knew just wanted to games. do it, yeah. Um, but if we can meet with Dealer, and then Pronto can be Dealer, we can find out where Dealer is getting this stuff. But Dealer didn't give the stuff. Well, Dealer might know about the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he does. Maybe I got confused. I thought that he got it from the dealer. Did he get it just from the rock fell from the sky? They just smoked a rock that fell from the sky? No, they didn't smoke <laughs> it. They snorted it, but yes. Okay. That's what happened. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Everything's an idiot. Oh my well, God. Let's go talk to Lawrence then. And yeah. Can be a backup plan. Okay, right. and send the dealer to Jersey. Because then he'll really hate Heretic. Like, wait, not now. Got busy. Talk later. <laughs> Okay. Uh, at that moment, Pronto, your phone rings because your mom never learned to text. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Pronto like puts down his Boria hand and uh, answers the phone, trying to like keep them apart, like <laughs> the Boria hands are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ma. Everyone else just hears. The nice man came to deliver that lovely mug that you sent. Um, oh, yeah. Also, when did you sign up for this benefits package? Uh, they offered it to us. We're doing very well. Oh, that's good to hear. Should I sign all these papers? Um, uh, not yet. 
say that you're waiting for my confirmation because we haven't sent anything yet. Uh, I just need to make sure that it's everything that I think it is. Yeah? Hold on. He wants to talk to you. Okay. Hey, Pronto. How's it going? Is Listen, that recognizable I, voice? No, you don't recognize it at all. Listen, I uh, the courier from Five Shields was super, super busy, so I took care of everything. Um, I'm over at your mom's place right now, uh, and we're getting along just fine, and I'd like to make sure that continues. I'd like that very much as well. Pronto, Perfect. tap speakerphone. Perfect. Awesome. Then why don't you just come over here? I need to get your signature on some of these things and uh, make sure that we patched over everything that went down last night. Okay. I'm on the other side of town, but I'll be over. I'm sure you will. Click. Huh. That wasn't the American. Told you guys to avoid the gift shop. That was not the American. Is your mom being held hostage? A little bit, since what it sounds like. Maybe. They said that the courier was busy. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure they've got plenty of couriers. And they said at Shields, so they're not with Shields. Mm. I I have to go and deal with this. Let's all go. You're not going to go by yourself. I, would I am not leaving that. this hand until we can secure the, your mother. Ponte looks out to see if the black SUV is still there. It has gone. He opens up for you, But we have air flux. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's me. <laughs> Starts flying. And we'll bring Heretic uh, in hold person. <laughs> no, I mean, at this point, he's not fighting back at all. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> He's just glad to stop burning. Oh, gosh. All right. So our heroes fly off across the city, making their way to Pronto's mom's house. Heretic dangling upside down with the lot of them. Meanwhile, in an underground facility somewhere, a group of people, one of them with a metal arm, Another one glancing at one console, then shoo, shimmering and appearing at another one. Are cycling through. What about the feeds? Did you get the feeds over at the, at the cloud servers? They had a direct tap, they, and they just pulled their corporate strings. They, they wiped it all. That's easy. That's an easy fix. Tell us what else we got on them. Well, you're not going to like this. And a bunch of really ugly NFTs fly up onto the screen. Oh no. <laughs> and we'll find out more about what's going on with that next time on Absolute Power. Thank you everybody for joining us. Um, and we'll see you next time.